Here I started off with the sketch. I used a grid and just filled in every single square of the grid with all the shapes that I could see of the people that were doing. Then I started with a base layer. I kind of worked from bottom to top. Um, and I was doing the jeans here. Um, I started off with a base layer and then I just built on the shadows. Um, a lot of this painting is just a lot of layering. Um, and I work, how I work is I do a solid base colour. Um, and I do it very light so I can still see the grid. And I can still use that as my reference. And then I just build up on top of it. So as you can see here, I've added in the highlights and the shadows from my base layer and I'm just doing that again and I'm just blending it out. I just put um, colour up and then just blend it out into the next colour. I also done that to get the effect of the creases and folds of the man's shirt and with the boy's shirt and then um, with the lady's top as well. It's kind of just the same thing, just repeating it. When you have like a basic understanding of how fabric works and how all the folds work, you kind of just can adapt um, and use that information that you have of how it all works to make it look more realistic. Because um, it is really, the most important part is getting the shadows and highlights uh, right. And to do this, I literally just took the colour that I was using as the base one and I made it darker for the shadows and then made it lighter for the highlights. So it really is just kind of the same colour just manipulated into different shades. This part I was doing the woman's face and I was just, I started with doing all of the shadows but then when I kind of placed them all in I realised that the proportions were all off. Um, and I also, this happened with um, all of their faces. So I ended up redoing all their faces about like five times um, until I got it right. Here I was just focusing on the baby's clothing and his little straps and uh, braces they're called. Um, and I was just doing the kind of shadowing of them. I ended up just completely filling this in with like a dark navy blue and then just going over with white to get the straps. Um, to get the wee striped effect. Um, here I was just adding the highlights of the woman's top, um, which was a lot, just whites and the blues and then darker blues and just going in to make it all look, um, all look creased and folded um, to give it the realistic effect that I was going for that you could see in the actual photograph itself. Um, after I put in all of my colours, I blend them out. I use this kind of very small um, fluffy brush and I just blend it out. Here I was doing the trousers. I was getting in all the ribbed creases and folds of it and doing the highlights and shadows to make it look more realistic, which I really loved how this turned out. I think it, it was like one of my favourite um, parts to do of this painting. Then I started putting in the uh, wood for the decking and I started with a base layer and I done that for the entire thing. Um, then I, for every single block in the background, I had to find the right placement for all of the black. This was so that I could get in all of the bushes and shrubs and um, grass. So I had to go to every single, each little block and fill it in which was very time consuming and it did take quite a while but I finally got it done. Then here I was mapping out all the lines for where um, each panel of the wooding, the wood panels would go. Um, and then, as I said before, a lot of this, how my style of painting is blocking things in with a solid colour and then building up on top of that. A lot of it is just layering and sometimes some parts of it take longer to layer and you need to put in more layers than others. For um, the man's trousers, I started off with black as 
as the base just for the shapes and I went in with a navy and then I went in with a lighter navy colour um, just you know so you could see the highlights of the creases and then underneath the lighter bits you can see the darker navy which is like the fold of the shadow in it and then I went in with the lighter one and then the highlights so almost like a white kind of colour as the highlights um, to show where the light is hitting off of the jeans so you can see where each individual crease and fold is. It ended up being really textured um, but I really love how the kind of textured effect, how that all happened because you can see it up close but you can't really see it from far away but I just really like how that whole look came about. I didn't necessarily do it deliberately um, but just because, especially because of the layering that really helped um, to add a lot of texture to the painting which I think just, I think just adds to it a lot to be honest. And then I was done with the jeans. I really loved how all the jeans turned out. I think they all turned out really good. And I've never painted jeans before as well, so I was really happy with how they came out. Here, um, like I said, I then went in with the um, greys, dark greys, light greys, um, and the whites and the kind of blacks um, to do each individual block of wood that you could see in the decking. Um, I did apply the paint here really thick so that I could kind of blend it into each other to really help give that kind of um, wood grain effect because as you can see um, in wood, a lot of the time wood grains like is still very visible to see so I was trying to keep it kind of visible but also have it quite blended so it wasn't extremely harsh. So I've done that throughout this entire, um, throughout this entire piece. It was kind of just the same, just um, some of the shadowing of it in different placements and then it got smaller, it was small at the top and then it got bigger towards the bottom um, because it was closer up so it was larger and more lifelike towards the bottom of the piece. And I was just doing like the final kind of touches here and um, just making sure everything was perfect because I don't want to send all of them not to be absolutely perfect. And then, um, yeah, I was really happy with how the women's like clothing turned out. I think that was probably like my favorite part. And then I went in with the grass. I thought this would be a lot harder than it was, but I literally just, I didn't even need like to use a really, really thin brush. I just had this really rounded brush and I flattened it when I was putting the paint on and I just kind of done flicking strokes and it worked really well with them um, and I just done I done that with every single strand of grass that was on the right hand side of this painting in the background and um, just layering on top I swear I must have done like a thousand strokes my hand was aching so bad afterwards but it was definitely worth it because the effect that this had looks so insane to me and I love it. I've never painted grass before but I love how this turned out and this was the final result. I really love how this turned out and the people that I made this for also really loved it which is a huge plus but this was really out of my comfort zone and really pushing my skills and abilities and I just love the challenge.